Hi guys, um, I am currently moving into my room at the moment. It is very late. I've got my key very late. Um, look at this. That's just me hangers. I'm going for a bit of a different layout of my room this year, only slightly, but um, I'll film a few bits, but I will do a room tour as well um, when I get a chance. I'm just trying to think how I want to design my room this year. I want it a bit more colourful, I feel like my mum's a bit plain, but then the amount of stuff I have is ridiculous, and I've got to find somewhere to put it, so yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll film little bits, so, yeah, I've got all this, I can't be bothered turning my camera around, so I'm just going to do it like this, I've just put all my bedding and towels in my old laundry basket for now, I think they might go in a box that I've just put in the kitchen, um, and then they'll go up at the top here, here um, there, <laughs> um, up there, if the box will fit. Um, and then I've got my drawers as well. I've got two sets of drawers. One was originally by my wardrobe and one was in my wardrobe. But I think I want them at the end of my bed this year, but I'm not sure. Um, they might go back to where they were, but yeah. I must say, the biggest problem I have living in student accommodation and being a student paramedic is this. We have I have three sets of uniform. I've then got my waterproof coat, my new coat. I've got my soft shell coat. Oh, that's not the soft shell, it's my trousers. Soft shell coat. I've then got a high vis, which is currently on my bed, which does have my usual fleece in it. Um, so the fleece probably won't stay in that, so that's another jacket. I've then got another jacket, which is like the green one, but in grey. Um, basically, they sent me the wrong colour, but it's embroidered, so I can't really wear it out and about. Um, I can't wear it on placement either so that's currently at home I don't really know what I'm going to do with that but yeah I've got a helmet and a high vis I've got boots and the wardrobe space and student accommodation is not great but I like to keep my uniform separate so I do keep it on the smaller side which is kind of a stupid thing to do but then I do have loads of clothes as well <laughs> um, but yeah you kind of just got to go with it but it's, it's kind of irritating it would make more sense if this rail went all the way across and got rid of this, um, but yeah, it's just how it's designed, isn't it? But yeah, I've decided I will put all my bedding in this box. Um, oh, I think I've got more. It's bedding and towels. I think I've got more in my suitcase, but I'm just gonna put it up top for now. Um, what I am gonna do is though keep my spare bedding. I put all my bedding and um, one set of bedding in one of the pillowcases. It just makes it so much easier. <laughs> um, Lizzie has just messaged me saying we'll be having pudding in 45 minutes and she's bringing it round for me, bless her um, yeah so I'm going to keep two, I need to buy some new tea towels you know when they're just a bit past it but I need to buy some of those um, so I'm going to put tea towels on top because I'm always in need of those and then the new bedding and then that'll be fine then I've just realised my bedding's been gotten a bit funny okay, right so that will go up top up there I'm going to need my high vis in two weeks anyway, so I'm just going to shove it up top now. Yeah. Hi guys, it is much later now. Um, I finished doing my room. Um, it just I've got nothing on my shelves because I forgot to bring everything with me. And yeah, <laughs> I need to get sellotape to stick photos to my wall. Um, but yeah, it's much later. I've had food. Um, and yeah, I am so ready for bed now. But yeah, I thought I needed to end this video. So yeah, I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.